hey guys welcome back to program of and during this episode we're going to talk about a very important topic so there have been few questions coming up to us that asked us whether we should wait for the new macbooks coming up in 2022 with the m2 processor or should we purchase any one of the apple silicon processor macbooks that is currently available with the m1 or m1 pro or m1 max processor so what should we do right now so guys Firstly, I would like to come to the M2 processor because when you're asking this question for the M2 processor, you might be eager enough to purchase the upcoming MacBooks with the M2 processor. But before that, we'll have a discussion about what should you do. So the first thing, if you're expecting to purchase a MacBook Air, that is what is expected in 2022. So if you're expecting to purchase that with M2 processor, so the estimated time of launch for that product is in the first half of 2022 and there are also some leaks and some news available right now that even says that the production for the macbook air with the m2 processor will begin late into the second or in the start of the third quarter in 2022 that means that we can also get the macbook air with the m2 processor in the later half of the 2022 so that's an estimated week if we try to just approximate this time this would be around six to seven months at least so waiting for six to seven months for a necessary task is just not right enough so i would recommend it to you that do not waste your time your time is important one of the most important commodities that we have as a human beings is time so we shouldn't waste that so that's the reason i would recommend you that do not waste your time if you want to get a new macbook or if you want to upgrade from a previous old macbooks like for example 2015 or 2017 macbooks so if you want to upgrade this is the right time to upgrade because right now whatever macbooks we have into the market is already one of the best macbooks if you even choose to go around with a macbook air 2020 model so with the m1 processor that would be one of the great macbooks and it can easily last you for some couple of years so at least to at least you can use that for two to three years what i can expect right now as well as there's one more thing that is into consideration that every time whenever you will be trying to purchase one a machine so every now and then we have a new macbook or a new machine coming up into the near future so and always the things that will be coming up in the near future will be better than what we have right now so even if I'm trying to make up and purchase for the new MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro processor, so I can think about this topic that if I purchase next year, I'll get a better MacBook. But yeah, next year also, when we, when we go at to that point, when we reach that point, so at that point either I'll have an option that if I wait for one more year, I'll get a better MacBook. So this is just in continuity of time and, and this is how things happen. So you should not stop at any moment of time thinking that if you wait for some time, you'll get something more better. Whatever we have right now is already one of the best MacBooks available. So even if you just get around with a MacBook Air that comes at just in price of triple nine dollars, and that's one of the great machines, by the way, I can really see that if you want to use it for programming, if you want to use it for video editing, if you want to use for freelancing works graphic designing or anything you can use that very easily and if you spec that up to 16 gigabytes of ram so that would be really good for you as well so that's just 200 dollars extra more but yeah absolutely that will add on to your performance so guys waiting for the new macbooks is absolutely not an option over here and since we are talking about the m2 processor macbook air that will be coming in 2020 let's talk about what we can expect in that macbook as well so firstly, what we are expecting over here, we have got some leaks from Dylan that says that upcoming MacBook Air will release in the middle of 2022. It will have MagSafe, a 1080p webcam, USB-C ports, a 30 watt power adapter and no fans. There will be color options similar to iMac 24. The bezels and keyboard will be an off-white with full-sized function keys. So in the new MacBook Air in 2022, that will come with MagSafe charging 1080p camera as well as more color options just like the iMac what we have right now so that will be the advancements as well along with that what we are expecting for the m2 processor is that m2 processor will also be an 8 core processor as the m1 processor and one thing over here is very important 
so most of you might be waiting just for one reason thinking that the m2 processor will be much more better processor than the m1 pro processor but it is not the case m2 processor is a successor of m1 processor not m1 pro or m1 max processor m1 max and m1 pro processor are beefed up version of m1 and the m2 cannot compete with m1 pro and m1 max because they are already performing so much great and it has got a lot more potential for graphics as well as for performance so the m2 processor will be clearly a successor of m1 processor that means if you choose to go along with the macbook air m2 processor so that is an upgraded version of the m1 not m1 pro so in no way m2 will be providing better performance than the m1 pro or the m1 max processor so that's one of the consideration because most of you might be thinking that m2 will perform much more better than any of the processor that is recently launched as the m1 pro or the m1 max so that's not the case clearly and also in the macbook air that will be launching in 2022 and that there will be some more things as well so what we are expecting over here is that we will have a 1080p camera but there will be a lack of face id what we currently even do not have so none of the macbooks right now has face id and the macbook air will also not have an face id along with that it will also not have the promotion display hdmi port and sd card slot so these features will be limited to only macbook pros so it will not be into the macbook air but one thing what we are expecting into the macbook air to come up is a mini led display so mini led display can be expected to come in the macbook air with the m2 processor and one thing by sure so if these things do happen over here so if these things happen here so one thing is very sure that the price will be incremented so from one thousand dollars it will be incremented at least to we can say around fourteen hundred dollars or fifteen hundred now what will be the actual price what will be the estimation we do not have any idea about it but this is just assumptions of mine what i'm trying to assume right now that there will be at least some difference into the price because right now the macbook air with the m1 processor starts with just one thousand dollars but when it will have got so many of features because there's complete new redesign as well as displays will get better as well as we will have MagSafe connector as well as we will have 1080p camera so these things will actually bump up the price to something more by at least 300 dollars what i can expect right now so guys if you wait so that will not just cost you time but also cost you more money so that's the reason why i consider for you right now that if you are a programmer if you are a student you can go along with a macbook air with the m1 processor or else if you want to have a machine for much more better performance where you are using multiple number of environments as well as you are using that for graphics tasks so you can go along with a macbook pro with the m1 pro processor even the 14 inch model or the 16 inch model the base variant will just do some great work for you so there is no point over here to wait for such a long period of time and just rely on to something that is into the near future so future is always going to be better but we shouldn't rely on to that completely whatever we have into the present moment of time we should accept that and move on so that we can approach the future into a much more better way so that's all my complete thoughts about this topic and if you've got any more questions please comment down below we'll be happy to answer that and if you liked our video please hit that like button subscribe to our channel meet you in the next episode till then goodbye